Alright everybody, how are you all doing tonight? Thanks for checking out this app review of mine. I believe it's my second one. And today I'll be reviewing an, an awesome app called Multiloader, which pretty much you are able to send things from your PC or Mac to your computer, or to your iPod, sorry. Or, you can send something from your iOS device to your computer. So, I'll be demonstrating how to do the PC, or the iOS device to the PC one, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. So. How you can get Multiloader is it's available in the App Store for about 5 bucks, I believe, but I got it free because I have a jailbroken iPod, so, and I just uh, got it through install this. So how you can do this is, uh, once you get on the menu here, you'll be able to see two little um, sections here. One that says Send To and one that says Receive From. Today I'll be going over the Send To part. So say I have a picture on my iOS device that I want to send to my PC. So I'll go ahead and choose PC here. Sorry, my little viewer thing is a bit laggy. And then you'll see camera roll. So you can choose anything from in here. So I'll just choose a picture of my dog. Then choose done. So I have one thing in my queue, and then I can go ahead and add more if I would like, or I can send it right to my computer, which I'll press now by clicking send. And you can choose a photo size. I, w I want to keep it at the full resolution. And you can you can either convert it into an original, keep it at its original state, make it into one big picture, or give it an animated GIF file. So I'll keep it at the original and go ahead and click OK. So it'll go ahead and say that it uh, give you a zip file to download. So I'm going to go ahead and click Send. And then it'll give you these instructions right here. So I'll go ahead and pop over to my PC quick, and then I'll show you what's how to do it. Alright, so now that I'm on my computer, I'm going to want to go ahead and check out the screen that my iPod gives me. So it'll give you this little link that you're going to want to type into any web browser. Make sure you don't type the HTTP part, otherwise it won't work. So when you type that into your web browser, it'll give you this little page here. Alright, so now that we're on this page that it gives us, we'll go ahead and click the link right here that says Download Photos and Videos. And then it'll download in a little zip file that it just created on our iPod. So going to our desktop, we can see the see here that we have a little archive that we need to extract. So extract it with your uh, unzipping archive and it'll pop up with the things that you just put in here. So there you go, you successfully sent something from multi-loader to your computer. 